Hey, welcome to Handbuilt. We've got a replacement plasma for the one that didn't work. It's, this one works. Definitely works. No good for 10 mil steel. Won't go through it. Asking a little bit much. But I half expected that. But if we drop it down, I reckon it'd probably do 3 mil steel. 1 mil. Turn it back on, hang on. Not a problem at all on the one mil. So it will come in handy. But if I want to um, cut anything bigger than one uh, three mil, I'd probably I'm probably going to have to um, get a better one. So it's a cut fifty. Um, what was it? Two hundred and fifty ish. Two hundred and fifty ish dollars. Can't remember exactly, but this one's the pilot arc. It's got the uh, extra wire for the pilot pilot arc, which means um, you don't have to strike it on the metal to start it. It just starts by itself. Um, yeah, it's 50 amp, but yeah, not not good enough for 10 mil steel, which would be good, but unfortunately, it's not. Okay, you know more stuffing around. I got myself a real plasma cutter. So, anyone wants to buy a cheap Chinese plasma cutter? It works well, only used once. Shoot me an offer. Probably take a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks, you can have it. There's this nice little digital display. Not enough air pressure. Hang on. A little bit of a back try here. And as you can see, it does go through 10 mil. This is very dirty metal, and um, I haven't set it up properly yet. So it will get better than that. So you can turn it up. Flat out 45 amp. Press the button. You've got your displays. You've got your latch mode for if you want to do your checker plate. This is your torch setting. I'm not 100% sure, and that's for your air pressure. So I've got to read the manual. So there you go. press that. Oh, and it is pilot arc too. Turn on. Much brighter aft than the old um, Cut 50 down there. Alright, so clearly it cut the uh, 10 mil plate. It's a bit messy, but that's uh, operator error. Um, I think it, the um, tip got a bit dirty towards the end there and it was was blowing out a uh, crooked arc but I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna do one more cut I might um, put you on um, what do you call it fast mode so you can watch see what I do yeah we've got a flat out full bore on the uh, 45 amp flat plate setting Gonna spark the air compressor up and let's go.
So that cut was worse than my last one. Um, I think I was trying too hard. I think I started moving too quick in one spot and that dirtied up the tip which made it cut bad. You know, I'll even dross on top which, yeah, wasn't good. But it cuts, it's main thing. I'll, um, I'm only new to it so I'll work it out, I'll get it cutting nice. Uh, I'll watch some YouTube videos and that and I'll get it sweet. But um, I'm going to make another bench to go with the welding bench. Uh, let's put my bench vise and um, maybe bench grinder on it. Um, some more bench space is always good. Um, and with the other piece, I'm going to make some other stuff. I'll show you what. So I'm sick of uh, having changed jaws every time I go from shrink to stretch. It's just a big time waster. So I've got my, uh, which one are they? These are my shrinking jaws here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these. Um, that's a 10 mil plate, which is what I've got over there. And I'll just cut it out with the plasma and neaten it up with the grinder. And uh, I'll make a stand up as well. And then I'll have two. That'll be a time saver. So yeah, just got to work it out. I'll pull it all apart and I'll, uh, I'll get the specs the same. All right, I've done a bit of research and I think I know where I went wrong with my cut. Um, I think I was pushing it outside of its duty cycle. It's got a 35% duty cycle at full amps. Now, um, that means that you have to stop every 3.5 minutes of work time and then let the machine rest for 6.5 minutes before you start again. So it was that, because that explains why my cut was getting worse towards the end. It was pretty long cut uh, on heavy duty steel. So um, that and the fact that the uh, second one, second cut I made, I didn't really clean it up that well. Um, so that would have been a slight factor as well. Which got me thinking, this one here, maybe it does cut 10 mil because this plate that I was cutting was filthy dirty and it didn't have a very good earth. So I'm going to give it another shot just to see if it does cut. I'm going to put a new tip in it because I think I uh, damaged that one trying to cut dirty metal. So that's what we're going to do right now. So the conclusion is, it will cut 10 mil, not as neatly as the um, SIG weld, but then again the SIG weld's uh, about $800 dearer. Um, for cutting thin stuff, probably I've cut 3 mil with one before and it does it no problem at all. So if you're just light duties, this will do you. But you know, 10 mil, that's, that's a big ask. Um, that's why I upgraded, so anyone who wants to buy it, I don't need it anymore, so hit me up. Yes, it did get in. Not as neat as a SIG weld, but what do you expect?
It's cheap Chinese stuff. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up there, so. Skeeties. Um, please subscribe and share and hit the bell and all that stuff. Helps me out. So, um, see you next round with some 260Z stuff. Oh, no, Rusty. Piece of shit.